The United States and the United Kingdom have granted Kyiv permission to strike targets in Russia's rear with long-range missiles, but this has not been officially announced, reports The Guardian. The publication, citing its own sources, noted that London and Washington have decided to allow Ukraine to use long-range missiles but are not yet ready to announce it. Deploying the missiles, Western officials add, should be part of a wider plan designed to try to bring about an end to the full-scale war, the report states. For several months, Kyiv has been seeking permission from the US and the UK to use Western long-range missiles against targets and airbases in Russia's rear. However, both governments have prohibited the Ukrainian armed forces from carrying out such actions, fearing significant escalation. On September 13, US President Joe Biden and UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer held a meeting at the White House. The leaders discussed granting permission for strikes on Russian rear positions. Before this, White House National Security Advisor John Kirby noted that the US ban on such strikes has not been lifted and will not be lifted. Following the meeting, Starmer stated that a decision on granting permission has not yet been made. Wow, that was quite a bit of uh, propaganda and lies. It's quite amazing uh, what we just heard. Uh, the United States welcomes uh, the opportunity to address the seriousness of weapons transfers into the conflict in Ukraine, which Russia started. Transfers uh, to the aggressor are enabling the largest invasion of Europe, in Europe, since World War II, prolonging the conflict, undermining the UN Charter, and endangering European security. Since the last briefing on this topic, we have new developments to share with the Council. In late 2023, Iran and Russia signed a contract for the supply of hundreds of missiles Russia needs to carry out its aggression in Ukraine. This past summer, Iranian personnel trained Russian military personnel on the use of Iran's Project 360 close-range ballistic missiles. This month, Russia received the first shipment of hundreds of these missiles from Iran. The missiles have a maximum range of 75 miles, and their deployment enables Russia to preserve its longer-range capabilities for use throughout Ukraine, deepening Russia's arsenal and giving Russia the ability to destroy more of Ukraine's infrastructure ahead of winter. Iran's transfer represents a dramatic escalation and a highly destabilizing development, one that is likely to increase the suffering of the Ukrainian people. This missile transfer is in addition to the thousands of UAVs Iran has sent to Russia since 2022, which Russian forces have used with devastating effect against Ukrainian civilians and civilian infrastructure. The partnership between Russia and Iran not only poses a threat to Ukraine and European security, it also directly enables Iran's destabilizing activities in the Middle East and around the world. In response to Iran's ongoing military support to Russia, including the recent delivery of ballistic missiles for use against Ukraine, the U.S. Department of the Treasury is designating 10 individuals and six entities based in Iran and Russia, and identifying four vessels as block property that are enabling Iran's delivery of weapons components and weapons systems, including the UAVs and missiles, to Russia. Since the Kremlin launched its invasion of Ukraine, Russia has also imported dozens of ballistic missiles and more than 18,000 containers of munitions and munitions-related materiel from the DPRK, in violation of Security Council resolutions that Russia itself supported just a few years ago. Russia has cynically abandoned its support for the principles of nonproliferation and has used its position on the Security Council to attempt to shield the DPRK from UN scrutiny of its unlawful nuclear and ballistic missile development programs. It is clear there is an urgent need to help Ukraine defend itself from missile strikes, attacks which undermine the principles of the UN Charter and threaten international peace and security including, it seems, food security. Russia has now received new supplies of Hwasong-11 short-range ballistic missiles from North Korea. The Russian army has already used them to strike Kyiv this summer, according to the New York Times. 
According to the agency, on September the 3rd, British researchers in Kyiv examined the debris of four Hwasong-11 missiles after another Russian attack. The experts deciphered the production markings on several parts of each missile. They found that the Wasong-11 missile used in the August 18th attack on Kyiv had markings indicating that it was manufactured this year. The internals of the other three, which were used in the July and August attacks, had no markings to indicate when they were manufactured. The Wasong-11 missile has a range of about 700 kilometers and can be equipped with nuclear or conventional warheads. The missile looks similar to the Russian 9M723 ballistic missile of the Iskander-M operational and tactical complex. In early 2024, the United States announced that Russia had received ballistic missiles from North Korea. Joe Biden noted that the missiles had already been used before for airstrikes against Ukraine. The UN also confirmed the use of North Korean missiles by Russian forces. In February, Ukraine's Prosecutor General Andriy Kostin confirmed the above information and said that the enemy had used at least 24 North Korean-made ballistic missiles at that time. In March, the head of the Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor's Office, Alexander Filchakov, said that since the beginning of the large-scale invasion, Russia has launched approximately 50 Wasong-11 missiles manufactured by North Korea at Ukraine. Recall on September the 6th, the US informed its allies that Iran had sent ballistic missiles to Russia. The United States and Europe are working on sanctions in response to Tehran's actions. Sky News reports that Iran's missiles arrived in Russia on September the 4th. The shipment, which included 220 FAF 360 missiles, was transported by the Port Olya ship, which had been in the Iranian port of Amirabad on August the 29th. The Russian vessel had turned off its transponder to avoid detection. After arriving in Russian Astrakhan, the missiles were unloaded and transported by rail at Shuluk training ground. This suggests that future deliveries of FAF 360 missiles via this route could become a regular occurrence, Sky News adds. Media and consulting company notes that the 220 FAF 360 missiles mentioned are likely just one batch and do not represent the total number that may be transferred to Russia. Information about the transfer of launchers is also lacking, though they might have been produced in Russia or delivered by air. According to unconfirmed reports, an argument for the missile transfer was made in December 2023. The FAF 360 is a missile with a range of 120 kilometers, weighs 787 kilograms, and has a warhead weighing approximately 150 kilograms. It uses an inertial guidance system with satellite navigation. Iran typically launches these missiles using a 6x6 truck chassis equipped with six launchers.